very scary, but I'm not sure how much Latin she speaks, especially since, unfortunately, this one is basically deceased. So, our, the Latin reference is in reference to the fact that one of the many names for this particular creature, let me not put my shadow on it, is a Red Roman. So a red Roman spider, they're not actually true spiders, and we call them solifuges. The reason they're not true spiders, they don't have any spinnerets, they can't spin silk, and they definitely don't have any venom glands. However, as James has told you, they are scary looking, and that's because those jaws are capable of delivering a very, very powerful bite. I'm not sure what happened to this one, they are nocturnal, as you can tell from the pale colour and she's been injured. I keep I always refer to solifuges as a she, but she's got quite a broad abdomen, which makes me think I'm correct about that. The females are slightly bulkier. And she's been injured in some way. I think most likely suspect is a bird. And these solifuges come out at night, they move very, very rapidly, and they're very difficult to catch. But for something like a small owl, it's entirely possible. And then what you'll probably find is that she bit and fought and got dropped. But unfortunately, damage here is pretty serious. She's obviously been crushed in talons. She's also missing the front of her pedipalps. These limbs on the front here that are basically make it look as though a red Roman has got five legs on either side, or ten legs in total. They don't. These are separate limbs used for catching their food. But she's missing the tips of it. And I'm not a hundred percent. You'll notice I'm quite gingerly touching her with this blade of grass. I'm not a hundred percent convinced that she's fully deceased. I can't see a heartbeat. Usually you can with solifuges. You can see their, their, pulse, re their pulse quite clearly. Now, pulse is perhaps the wrong word because they don't have blood vessels in the way that we do. They do have an organ. Ah. There we go, we've got a, a suggestion from Tristan as to the, the culprit behind said squidged solifuge, but I'll get to that in a moment. Um, but just to finish off what I was saying about the organs and the, the way that their heart beats, very, very simple heart that all it's doing is shifting liquid around because they've got an open system. They don't have blood vessels, it's just a, it's a hemocell and the liquid flows because it's got such short distances to travel. That way gas, gas diffusion, anything like that, diffusion of nutrients, that can happen over a short space without having to have blood vessels to transport things. But there is a rudimentary heart and it does beat. I can't see it beating. Now Tristan's guess is that it was a lilac breasted roller that caught this particular solifuge. That's very specific. I've seen them catch them before. Absolutely could be. I have no reason to disagree with him and no evidence to the contrary. So that's entirely possible. Perhaps it would be that an owl would be more successful. Now Kirk, that's the exact question I'm asking myself. Why didn't the bird finish it off? I suspect oh, it could be a couple of reasons. She could have fought back, especially if it was a slightly smaller bird, like a lilac-breasted roller. Um, she could have fought back and wriggled loose. They're very strong creatures, and whilst a, a legs a legs bird, that's not right, a bird's legs are quite tough and scaled, perhaps her jaws managed to meet with a softer part of the bird and she managed to get away. Or two birds could have fought over it and dropped it and not been able to find it again. Or I guess potentially they might have been interrupted by something else. I doubt it was us. I think we would have seen them. This is quite fresh though, but perhaps something else came around and they decided that their physical safety was more important than finishing off a big meal like this. Perhaps they just couldn't get around to swallowing it. Often birds take on more than they can chew, so to speak, because for that exact reason they don't chew. So sometimes they bite off more than they can swallow. Shame, girl. Still a little bit of resistance from its legs. Well, hopefully a bird comes along and finishes it off. Perhaps even a bird like the one that James has.